The film uh, is a thriller. Uh, basically, it's about my character. Uh, he's a very successful professor. Uh, clinical psychology is taught to students. Ko. But on his personal front, pe, he's not successful at all because his wife wants to leave him. Uh, she wants to divorce him. She's fallen out of love. And that is an emotion, I think, which not many people can handle. If we see today, it's socially acceptable for the wife to leave the husband, which is fine. I think if a guy can leave a woman, why can't a woman leave a guy? But either ways, it hurts because this is somebody you, you've loved, you've married, and that person wants to leave you now. So there's all kind of emotions which go through somebody. So what happens to this person? You know, that the wife is leaving, what happens to this person? And what does he think about it? And what happens? you know, hota hai film mein. That all starts from that point. Uh, you know, and it's a very interesting cast as well. Apart from me, there's Omi Vedya. Uh, there's uh, Pooja Patra, of course, who plays, you know, a, a psychologist. Uh, there's uh, Sneha Ramchandra, who's a new actress, who plays an investigating officer. And there's a girl called Shanti Akini, who plays my wife in the film as well. And there's a new boy called uh, Dhruv Bali, who uh, plays a student who I mentor. So very interesting tracks in this film. I feel very lucky that <laughs> I've been able to do uh, different kinds of roles. And I would not say that just that I've chosen the roles, but the films have chosen me. As an actor, I always want to do interesting but entertaining work. At the end of the day, I'm an Indian actor. I'm a Hindi film actor. I like Hindi films. Karni pasand hai. You know, it's not uh, uh, necessary that every film be 100, 200 crores. Though I would love to do, you know, 100, 200 crore uh, uh, films. There's no, you know, I have no problem <laughs> with the films making money. I want them to make money. I want people uh, to, you know, uh, to see them. And uh, if you see uh, the, the films that I've done have very long shelf lives as well. You know, a lot of them, even now when they come on TV, they're being uh, seen, you know, a lot and people still enjoy them. So, uh, you, you know, you can say I feel very uh, lucky and humble that uh, uh, I'm continuing uh, to do such good work. Yes, <laughs> I like uh, challenging roles. It's like uh, doing something which you're not sure you can do or not. You know, who doesn't love a challenge? You know, it makes life uh, more exciting. You know, so that's why I love uh, uh, challenging roles. I want to be the best I can be in those roles. It's very hard to compare yourself to any other actors. But I'm very passionate, you know, about uh, the work that I do. And, uh, you know, I, I, I want, of course, people uh, to be very uh, uh, entertained and intrigued at the same time by the characters that I play. Ragni MMS Part 2 is kind of a thriller, but it's a, a, a horex. <laughs> you know, we know, all know what a horex means. It was publicized as that. So there was a thrill element, but I had not really done an out-and-out -out thriller. And I think thrillers have the capacity to be very entertaining. So many thrillers which work. You know, if you are able to hold people throughout a film, you know, I think uh, that's an excellent thing. And whoever, uh, when I read the script, that's one of the things it did, is that it really held me throughout. I had inputs even when I had not directed. <laughs> you know, I think uh, actors have inputs because it's a healthy thing. You know, if you don't have inputs, it's you don't feel for the film. But if you feel for the film, the role and everything, uh, you know, even in my very, one of my very first films, Monsoon Wedding, I had inputs. <laughs> you know, even as a newcomer, <laughs> you know, for a director like Meera Nair. But it's not, ki, uh, it's not an input in an unhealthy ki, oh, suggestion. Dera ye kya, kya apne. No, I think one of the great things about Meera was she would take inputs even from the, the spot boy, the light guy. You know, and I felt a certain way, I had certain ideas about the character. You know, in one certain scene, Meera herself has said, you know, that I didn't totally agree with Praveen here, but he suggested and I shot it. And then I really liked it when I saw it and it's there in the edit. And I have to, uh, you know, say that I agreed with him. You know, some directors are open to it. Some directors are not open to it. Uh, Vichit was definitely uh, open to it, uh, you know. But of course, the one who was good, they which is the correct the way to do it, I'm just, yeah, I was just acting in this, you know, he's the director, but 
I feel it's my duty if that if I do feel something, if I do, uh, you know, have an idea, then it's my job to communicate that to the director. But I always was very open, you know, you know, this is what I feel. But whatever, you know, you want to do, I'll do that at the end of the day. I see one of the very interesting things about this film, maybe not the shooting, but after a long time, I was staying on my own, you know, almost like a single bachelor, uh, well, I shouldn't say bachelor, but you know what I mean, <laughs> you know, like a single guy, because the film was being shot in New Jersey, but I wanted to stay in New York, you know. Uh, uh, I studied in New York, I went to acting school in New York, so, uh, I, you know, I wanted to stay there, and I did, but I didn't want to uh, really uh, increase the budget of theirs too much, so I told them, you know, whatever budget you had, for the hotel you were putting me up in. It was a five star, they were putting me up in New Jersey, but New York five stars are much more expensive. So I said, I, I won't stay in a hotel. I'll rent uh, a studio apartment, you know, which will be the same budget and I'll stay there. I don't have any problem. So to stay like that again, you know, I felt like I was in my student days uh, again, because, uh, you know, I, I bought some groceries for myself and now and then I would make uh, things, but it was really nice you know, uh, being, you know, on one's uh, own uh, after such a long uh, time and one got uh, time uh, to do a lot of things, you know, to walk around, To we were working also, we were walking around, uh, discovering the city again and uh, going running and, and, and it was summertime in New York, so it was the best time. But at the same time, I had a lot of time to work on the role as well, you know, because when I used to get back to the apartment, there's nobody there but me. So I had time to work on the role as well. Yes, please see the film. June 2nd, The Mirror Game. It's a very entertaining film. A lot of twists and turns. You know, uh, everybody will love this film. Young, old, middle-aged. Whether you consider yourself whatever age, you know, come with your uh, kids. It's, it's a UA film. It's a clean film as well, but it's a really interesting film. It's a thriller and we don't see that much of this genre in our cinema. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, this film will really keep you hooked, so it's really worth watching. The Mirror Game, Up Khel Shuru, June 2nd.